hello people. Uh, I got the machine hooked up to electricity and uh, and the pneumatics and it is now running and it's running pretty well. Uh, I have uh, 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 I have gotten just a little bit I mean just a little bit into the control and I'm now actually ready to um, ready for the ceremonial moment of the first chips and I think I want to share this with you so the spindle is running at about 2000 rpm and I have the Coromil R300 in the spindle mm, too bad the doors are so I mean the, the glass on the doors is so bad but I guess that's not the point here exactly so I have manually input uh, the 2000, and 2000 RPM and now I'm using the jog mode to to drive the to drive the table and of course the uh, the, the z-axis so let's let's touch Oh, the very first chips. Mm, I wonder which way to go. Let's try this way. No, that's the wrong way. Let's try again. Again, not. Come on. So here we go. The very first chips. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a start. So, I think this is all for now, I just wanted to share this with you. So, now it is time for some serious learning about this control. And by the way, let me show you something. Uh, as I still don't have any tools for this machine, um, I mean, uh, especially bought for this machine um, and this was the only one which is a, a BT40 it's my only BT40 taper which fits this machine and I didn't have a pull knob for it so I made it in the small light right there uh, let me try to show it to you So this is the type of pull knob that this machine uses. I think it turned out pretty good. I still haven't uh, talked it on. And tomorrow I should get some more tooling for this milling machine. I just copied the drawings which happen to be on a sticker on the back of the machine, right here. It's nice to have the drawings. And this type of pull knob actually only works with the BT40. Um, cut 40 tapers like this one. 
will also fit in the spindle and they will fit the drive dogs also but this type of um, this type of a pull knob is uh, is too long for the cat for the taper and also I think that the tool changer will not take um, cat type tapers um, let me show you one more thing behind the pendant box the controller box right here I have a list of options installed and right here it says BT40 and I'm gonna believe it and what it also shows it has rigid tapping which is pretty great and again thank you everybody for helping with me out with this so this machine actually does have rigid tapping which is great I hope one day I will learn to use it well, Atman Unlimited has a video especially on rigid tapping, so I think it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, okay, and one more thing actually. Um, the, the cable track on the top of the machine is extremely close to my ceiling. So, um, when the spindle moves up for the tool change, uh, the tracks will touch my ceiling so at the moment I have the machine sitting on uh, blocks of 2x4 which are not tall at all but I will have to figure out something even lower of course uh, I will get some proper machine food for this but I'm so out of money at the moment I cannot afford any or maybe I will make some of my own from something else than hockey box. So I'll have to lower the machine somehow. Um, and also, this was supposed to be a short video, but looks out looks like it's it's not gonna be one. Take a look at how much chips I found. How much chips I found under these covers. So I cleaned them all off and I really want to go through this whole machine, take all the way covers out and see how many chips are in there and remove them all. And also I want to make sure that the, uh, the lubrication system works. So lots to do here before this machine is uh, all set for work and especially before I'm set for using this machine for working. There's a lot to learn in the controls. Okay. And does some of you know why my x-axis servo is making this noise? It's kind of a screeching noise. It's making it all the time and it changes uh, from time to time but when I operate it it also changes I hope you can hear it I wonder if that's normal or not I know the this servo motor has been changed as well as the y-axis servo actually it's in the back of the machine and I think the z-axis I mean the x-axis servo is, is the only one making noises I really don't know if that's okay or not. Okay. Let me show you how the spindle runs. Let's enter um, MDI mode, manual data input. So let's try S5000 M3 which is 5000 RPM for speed and M3 is spindle clockwise enter and start and let's turn the speed down first a little bit and let's go So 
this is 7,500 RPM. I think it's pretty effortless. And this is 4,000, 5,000, almost 7. 7.5. I also like the spindle brakes from uh, full RPM to to halt it's like three seconds without any tool. So I guess this is enough for now. Uh, I hope the next video you're gonna see is actually me making a part on this machine or it might be about moving this machine. I have great footage about it but I still haven't edited it. So okay until the next video and thanks all of you for help bye